Hello everyone, uh, my name is Eric Delgado and today is November 15, 2020. I am trying to break out of my shell here. I don't, I've never done a recording like this before. I hope that expressing myself vocally and publicly that it will help me grow as a person a little more because I'm, I'm really t a to myself type of uh, guy. Uh, I'm gonna have, you know, a few segments about how to have a healthy uh, relationship not so much a successful one because the success of the re of any relationship is all entirely depending on the two people that are in it you know if I'm gonna give out some fundamentals like a blueprint of a healthy relationship and how you to build on that blueprint and how you to confide in one another and grow from it that you know, your relationship will blossom. Not to say that I'm an expert in relationships. I've had my failed relationships, you know, I've had, I've, uh, you know, I've done wrong, you know, I've done things I'm not grateful for, things I regret. I've done things in relationship like, you know, neglected my partner, didn't show appreciation to my partner, didn't, didn't really value my partner. Ultimately, it ended really, it ended the relationship. So. I've been reading a lot and I've been listening to audio tapes and basically the things that I'm learning right now are things that I didn't really ever been taught or ever even, you know, had the common sense to think of. I just wonder how many people out there who think like that, you know, who don't have these fundamentals of a healthy relationship. I thought that I can share it with people and hopefully I have viewers and listeners because if I don't then I'm just talking to myself. If I help one person out of a hundred then I'm eternally happy because I at least was able to help someone who isn't out there, who isn't seeking to help themselves or hasn't thought that maybe I should start reading, you know, books and, and about self-growth and about relationships and about spiritual healing and, and all those other things that for the peace of mind, the peace of heart that each person needs. This is unorthodox for me. I've never done this. I've never spoken to just the camera my brother pkb productions he's helping me with it he's guiding me through it how to talk and how to interact and you know he wants me to be all up in the camera like that and i'm just it's just nervous nervousness right now um basically i'm just going to be giving my own testimonies and my own transgressions and my own experiences and on top with a little bit of what i've been reading and, and learning and so the first segment that i will be doing by next week when i post it and hopefully it helps anybody in the, the 10 steps to a healthy relationship. For throughout the week, I'm gonna you know, cover all my bases, rehearse, and I'm gonna get it right so I'm not stuttering or I'm not you know, um, um, um all the time and, and not contradicting myself or getting into any heated debates because everyone has different of opinions. Not everything works for everyone, you know, whatever works for you, whatever works for you. I'm just trying to give a general blueprint on how you can have a healthy relationship because a healthy relationship can be such a beautiful thing. You know, you'll you'll feel warm, you'll feel happy, you'll feel appreciation for not just yourself but for your partner. And I'm not gonna be talking about, you know, the puppy love stages. I'm not gonna be talking about new couples because new you know, I'm, I'm gonna, i wanna talk about the couples who are going through the grind or who have been together for a few years, those who are trying to you know, get into marriage. You know, those are the couples, those are the, the couples that I'm trying to help out here. You know, the, I'm sorry for you young ones who are barely stepping in a relationship. It's always rainbows and sunshines, but you learn very quickly that that tends to go away and how you grow from that relationship from that point on is when you really get to know one another. So, Thank you for hearing me out. Again, I appreciate it. Thing that I thought about doing, and I thought hard about it, and you know, uh, thank you to either to my family or my friends who are gonna su support me, who are gonna support me. I appreciate it, and you uh, have a wonderful night and a good week. Ciao.